the palman is a demonic creature who uses eyes in the palm of his hands to see. He sits in a throne in front of a table filled with a luxurious banquet dinner, using the feast to lure small children into his lair. The pale man is quick to devour any who dare cross his path. The creature has a white sagging skin and a nicely face, who can only see with two eyes that he plays in the palm of his hands. One of Guillermo del Toro's most visually stunning films, Pan's Labyrinth, is a dark yet beautiful fantasy set five years after the Spanish Civil War. Hello fellow collectors, it's Dr. Frank my channel back again, and today we're going to have a look at the Guillermo del Toro signature collection Pain's Labyrinth Pellman action figure from NECA. Its second release in NECA's new collaboration with renowned director Guillermo del Toro, Futurist Signature Collection, which brings select characters from del Toro's movies in premium action figure format with deluxe added elements. The Pellman comes packaged in a large flappy window box. The front of the package features a promotional artwork of the Pellman from the Pen's Labyrinth. Some movie titles can be found on all the other sides of the box. While the back side showcases the figure along with some description and prototype images of the other figures available from Guillermo del Toro's signature collection line. Opening the window flap, inside we can see production picture of the character here and the figure which sits in a plastic tray exactly on the throne including a platter with two eyeballs. So let's go open up this package and check this out. One of Del Toro's most memorable creatures is outside the box, and before we move on, I'm going to take a measure. And according to my ultra electronic device, we have the following value of how it stands from the very top of his head to the feet. The sculpt work here is looks absolutely identical to what I remember from the film, capturing his creepiness in really amazing level of detailization. His skin has a light texture with a shiny and natural looking. It feels like full of large draft and melted clumps sagging off and falling its way down of his chin, arms, torso and legs. Even the underside of his feet has a unique sculpting which looks absolutely great. Paintwork here is really impressive, while the figure is mostly white, there's a few color washes that add a more realistic tone to the skin. The dark shade of pink is the most prominent color, with more subtle washes of browns and purples, which kind of desaturating skin tone and add more depth. From the time NECA producing horror characters in action figure form, I remember some releases that can be considered as the most creepiest realization in action figure form, but the Pellman is going to be a real nightmare if comparing with the other horror characters from NECA. Really grotesque representation of this character from the dark fantasy film Pan's Labyrinth. As with accessories comes with Pellman, we get the Underworld Throne and a platter with two displaced eyeballs. The included Underworld Throne is recreate the future appearance of this character in the film. It's actually cast in mostly a solid plastic and has a great level of detailization. The sculpted details here are very intricate with some realistic aged wood imitation, which make a more natural carved look. The paintwork is also really nicely done, with very faded colors used for wood and laser imitation here, gives it a really heavily worn effect. And I really respect NECA as a collector, because they put a lot of effort to make the figures in more realistic way than any other toy companies. Even the areas in which you wouldn't unnecessarily expect or require to have detailization, like on the side of the armchair or the underside of the feet, they still made the same incredible work with detailization and painting as everywhere. 
It's a really nice recreation of this furniture in plastic form and helps to really complete the look for the figure. As the additional accessory, we have this tiny green plate, which is featuring the eyes of the Pale Man. In the first appearance of this character in the film, we can see this plate on the table, which of course is not included in the set. So as the available option, we can just display it on the arm of the throne like this, kind of displaying Pale Man in his sleepy form, or display him without plate, like on the production picture, pretending as he's already walk. And from the package, we also get a nice diorama backdrop, featuring the fireplace from the film that can be used to take some good pictures of the Pellman. Let's take a look at the articulation possibility. It's fully articulated figure, and while the most people will simply default the Pellman to the throne, it has a very flexible joint system, allowing the hands to properly sit in front of his face, just like in the film, his head technically rotates all the way around, hinge up and down and tilt. Here we can see a secondary ball joint, which is actually the part of the neck. And another ball joint is located on the torso, which controls the upper joint system in a joint hierarchy. And already the next ball joint here, on the midsection of the body, is connected with the secondary ball joint on the torso, and controls the whole upper joint system in the joint hierarchy. So the entire articulation system is moving independently from one another. In the shoulder there is the same ball joint that controls the joint system of the arm, which includes double joint in the elbow and the same universal joint on the hands. The articulation of the legs working on almost in the same way, there is a swivel joint, which works depending in which way it's facing. If it's facing this way, that means the legs will move in the same direction. Also there is a bending system on the knee, and the ankle pivot on the feet, which are not so flexible. Moving forward to the size comparison part, here we have Pellman next to some of the most iconic horror characters from NECA. He is significantly taller than some of these characters and looks much more creepy than any of them. Here we have Pellman next to some of the other horror characters based on the video games. And in my opinion, those three characters are the most creepiest creatures ever produced by NECA. Let's move on and here we have Pellman next to some of the most iconic horror characters from the Universal Monsters line of Diamond Select Toys and we can see he's about the same size. And here we have Pellman next to McFarlane Toys Demogorgon creature from Upside World and there is something similar between these two creatures which featured almost the same design, skin tone as the other facts they both came from the Underworld. And here we have Pellman next to the other McFarlane Toys human characters from two different TV shows, The Walking Dead and Stranger Things. Here we have Pellman next to some sci-fi creatures from the Predator line. And here we have Pellman next to Ghostbusters figures, Dr. Peter Venkman and Dr. Ray Stance from Diamond Select Toys. The Pellman, ladies and gentlemen, are the ultimate representation of one of the most iconic creatures of Guillermo del Toro's film, Pan's Labyrinth from NECA. It's a creepy looking creature with an excellent sculpt and impressive paint applications. The Tron is fantastic condition furniture that makes the Pellman immediately ready for display. One of the best figure in NECA horror line from a collector's standpoint. Which is kind of show us if the proper franchise goes to the right company, then magic happens. I wish you happy collecting guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I definitely will continue to make the review of other figures of Guillermo del Toro's signature collection line. As the other figures from the horror line. If you want to check my other videos that have covered horror line, there is a special playlist on my channel. Make sure to hit notification bell 
to not miss any new content that coming every new week. Stay tuned guys, because in the following video I am going to make a review of another character of Pen's Labyrinth line, Ophelia. It was Dr. Wegman channel, thank you for watching and see you next time. This is Peter Beckman saying. <laughs> see you then.